Can I go? Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Hi, I'm Big Spell. <laughs> I just want to say, and Marianne, I could talk to you about this privately. Um, I don't know why the Village Council would be afraid of litigation from a $24 million a year company while they ix out a $65 million a year company. I cannot believe you would make me audition for you. You look like clowns. I am not bluffing. I will take it all off the table. That's all. Thank you. That was multimillionaire and comedian Dave Chappelle threatening to pull $65 million worth of investments from his city if they approve a new affordable housing unit. And the condescension there was just out of this world. Hi, I'm Dave Chappelle. Do you all know me? Because I'm pretty sure you might have heard of me. I'm kind of a big deal. I'm really, really rich. I can't believe that I have to audition for you. He actually said this knowing that people were going to see this. I mean, do you honestly think that the city has to grovel at your feet? Do you honestly believe that you're better than everyone else because you're rich? I mean, this is someone who genuinely believes that his shit doesn't stink. And it's so disgusting. This is probably the mentality of every single multimillionaire. But he is outraged that his city, uh, I guess, didn't ask him for permission to build an affordable housing complex. Uh, now, to be fair to him, he wasn't the only one there who was vocalizing concerns about this project. But lucky for him, he got exactly what he wanted, as is usually the case when multimillionaires make demands. As Eileen McClory of Dayton Daily News writes, Oberer Homes can move forward with a new development in Yellow Springs, but without an affordable housing component initially promised to the village after council voted against the village's own plan Monday night. The village and Oberer had worked together to produce a plan that would include duplexes and affordable housing along with single-family homes in a 53-acre area along Spillin Road at the south edge of town. The village initially asked for the development to advance affordable housing in the village, including an area that the village would later be able to develop into affordable housing, as well as more duplexes and townhomes. Multiple Yellow Springs villagers, including entertainer Dave Chappelle, got involved against the project. Chappelle even threatened to pull his business interests from the village, which include a plan for a restaurant called Firehouse Eatery and comedy club called Live from YS. Chappelle's company, Iron Table Holdings LLC, bought the former Miami fire station in December. Other villagers cited concerns with traffic flow, problems with the proposed homeowners association, and issues with water management. But several villagers said they also felt that the council had not included them in the process with Oberer. So what makes this even more absurd is the fact that they just specifically disapprove about the affordable housing component of this project. The project itself is fine. They just don't want the dirty poors living close to them. Dave Chappelle certainly doesn't want poor people in his vicinity, in his city. It's just... It's morally reprehensible, and as Root's action pointed out, Dave Chappelle is a turf and a NIMBY, which is a bad combination. Now, for those of you unaware, NIMBY stands for not in my backyard. It kind of refers to these liberals who believe that, you know, we have to do something about the housing crisis in the United States, but I just don't want the poor people near me. Not in my backyard. That's essentially what this refers to. And really, you know, when somebody tells you who they are, we should believe them. We learned just a couple of months ago that he's a bigoted piece of shit, but now we're learning that he's also anti-poor. What a terrible human being. What a terrible human being. As Justin Bargona put it, Dave Chappelle really spitting fire and speaking truth to power by threatening to take his millions away from a small town if it provides affordable housing to working class people. Yeah. So Dave Chappelle is a piece of shit. I think that that's pretty clear. He's an elitist prick, like most multimillionaires. But I think that people should understand that really the main takeaway that we should have from this story is that these multimillionaires, even if sometimes they say things that you might agree with, even if they like to LARP as advocates for working class people, they're not your fucking friends. They're not your friends. Stop defending them so vociferously. I mean, over the course of the last couple of weeks, we've seen nothing but people uh, freaking out at any criticism whatsoever of Joe fucking Rogan, somebody who's worth more than $100 million. He's not going to be your friend. He's not going to have a beer with you. He doesn't care about you. Multimillionaires don't give a fuck about you. You could die and they wouldn't care. So stop simping for them for the love of God, people. 
I mean, Jesus Christ, the uh, mental gymnastics that people jump through in their heads to push away criticism and defend these multimillionaires, no matter what, is just so bizarre to me, especially for people who supposedly are on the left. I mean, people will say, well, you know what, when it comes to at least like the Joe Rogan issue, this is really not about Joe Rogan. It's about freedom of speech. Oh, OK, well, if you care about freedom of speech, well, currently conservatives around the country are banning books in schools, hundreds of books, actually thousands of books have been banned. They literally just did a book burning in Tennessee. There's BDS laws. Uh, there's the don't say gay bill in Florida that Ron DeSantis just tacitly endorsed. So, I mean, if you care about freedom of speech, maybe you don't base your entire advocacy around multi-fucking millionaires. But maybe that's just me. Uh, to me, I, for one, you know, I think it's fine if you want to be a fan of somebody who's famous. Everybody, you know, has, um, has a liking or affinity for some celebrity of the sort. But stop defending them no matter what. And when, when pre people criticize them, don't bend over backwards to defend them. These people don't give a shit about you. They don't speak for average people. They're not working class allies. Like all elites, they care about themselves. And you defending them relentlessly isn't doing anything for the country. So, I mean, when, when people call out Dave Chappelle, and I'm sure people will have a conniption fit when they see this video, um, maybe don't go out of your way to defend him. Maybe just accept, okay, these people who I previously really admired aren't perfect. And that's, that's, that's fine, right? You can be a fan without being a complete fucking simp. But anyone who speaks out against something that the establishment does or seems at least somewhat subversive, they're just, they have these weird simps. Russell Brand is another one, by the way, which I didn't even know that many people uh, liked Russell Brand that much. But I mean, look, you're not subversive if you're defending these dumb fuck millionaires, okay? They're mainstream. Dave Chappelle is a piece of shit. And uh, I told you so. But, um, you know, people didn't want to listen because of cognitive dissonance, but he's terrible. And uh, I I'm glad that he's really going full mask off because uh, apparently the anti-trans bigotry wasn't enough. But this should really tell you this motherfucker is not your friend. Stop defending him. Tell him to go fuck himself and stop supporting these fucking elitist Prick, stop buying his tickets. I mean, these people don't give a shit about you. So, yeah, this is just an anti-elitist, anti-celebrity rant at this point. But, uh, you know, the takeaway is stop simping people. Jesus Christ. When you acting like a... Beta! 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 Alpha male, not a beta male.